my soup a little. I had to pick this up at the lab. No, no, it's not a problem. Nice car. You like it? <laughs> like it. I love it. I don't know if that enlargement's gonna tell us anything. Let's see. No, it's somewhat clearer, no? No, that just makes the whole thing wider open. The flame is sharper. But that flame, where is it originating? And perhaps what we're seeing is the tip of a larger flame on the other side where there's no damn camera. A flame is not a cause. A flame is an effect. It's a symptom. It doesn't tell us which component split, sheared off, cracked. It shows us nothing. It takes us nowhere. I want to show you something. Multiple successful launches, identical components, and launch locations. So what made that day special? What were the variables? Take a break, Prof. Oh. You lucky fella. Yeah, I'd be lucky if I could get it running. It's out of commission. Yeah, the carburetors seize in this weather. <laughs> this must be how you stay calm. Roger, the Dodger has got me going crazy with that process of his. He's a lawyer. He's working it through the way he knows. Yeah, well, maybe some others are kind of working it through the way they know. What, you think somebody's working it for themselves? Do you? It's Washington. After all. Yeah, well, I can't believe I got myself back in this world. Government, politics. And military guys like me. You're surprisingly okay. I guess you had your fill of military personnel through the 40s, so. What was your role back then? When? During the war with the Avon. I did the theoretical figuring. It was the math. I calculated how much fissionable material would be necessary to make an effective weapon. It's not a good use of science. Wow. You helped end the war. Yeah. This is beautiful. Should we try that Bordeaux? You go ahead, I, I no longer drink. I drink, I can't think. Okay, look, this is driving me crazy. I got a room full of NASA bullshit that just makes me more sure certain what caused the explosion, the cold. Okay, we got a guy who agrees with us. He gets shoved off the inquiry. We both know why, but none of it answers. There's a logic thing here that I'm just not getting. It's about what is at the heart of this thing. Why did NASA need to launch so bad? Okay, stop, Prof. I can't, I can't answer this here. Um, I'll pick you up in the morning, 8.15. And bring full ID. Okay. Good night. Good night. Where are we going?
Thank you, Corporal. Thank you, Sergeant. Just stand by outside. Prof, why don't you uh, grab a seat down here? <clears throat> right there. NASA. The agency of the United States government responsible for the nation's civilian space program and for aeronautics and aerospace research. Note the word civilian in there. The projected cost in U.S. dollars of running the space program. And the actual cost, I mean, I get it. And knowing this is unsustainable, NASA needs to prove itself, needs to bolster its purpose over and above civilian scientific research and discovery, okay? So park that for a moment. The Air Force, Meanwhile, wants to upgrade Titan, an efficient fleet of unmanned rockets to deploy spy satellites into space. Paranoia. Okay, whatever you civilians are told, we are still deep in the Cold War. So what's it got to do with NASA? NASA approaches Congress with a deal. That seems to make great economic sense. The government can stop funding Titan and instead divert the money to NASA, and the shuttle becomes a sole access into space. NASA knocks out the Air Force and gets a funding boost? Exactly, yeah. And the shuttle secures its raison d'etre. Carrying spy satellites? And NASA convinced Congress that by 1986 they'd be able to launch twice a month, every month, and on each of these flights, payload will be made available to the Department of Defense. Titan was my project. But NASA reneges on its obligation. And instead of giving DOD priority, they started taking senators up there in just PR stunt after PR stunt. And then launches start getting canceled. The press is beginning to notice. Congress is going to jump in. Yeah, yeah. And the administration is asking questions. And then last December, the launch is delayed six Times. And remember, NASA had promised Congress launch at any time, under any conditions. And then January 28th, January 28th launch, it's cold. It's very cold. And NASA feels under extreme pressure. They took the risk. They took the risk. Why did you tell me all this? Do you wish you didn't know? Downstairs, you made me sign that classified information thing. That's right. So, so what's going on, Katina? I mean, when you got me trapped, I can't spill any of this crap. That would jeopardize national security. The Soviets would know. The U.S. can't launch a damn thing in cold weather. You've been playing me the whole time, uh, from the beginning. That weird thing in the garage, with the carburetor. The carburetor, the old, <laughs> and the cold. I was supposed to take a hint? What is this, some kind of game to you? No, it was a nudge. I heard about the O-ring via an astronaut friend of mine who was tipped off in secret by a NASA engineer. This astronaut's career has to be protected. <laughs> I had to let you get there on your own, prof. Prof, don't prof me. You don't play me. You don't screw around with me. No, well, well, no. Listen to me, and you'll understand why I'm telling you. I can't you. do anything with it. That's the point. Don't ever tell me anything. I can't open my mouth and blab to the whole world. I gotta. I gotta get out of here. Just listen. Uh, Richard. No one plays me. What is this? You check six? Remember, I told you that only you are independent on this commission. Do others on the commission? Do they know stuff? Everyone knows some. Or all. But they're all bound. It's Washington. What can be acknowledged? How? By whom? You go drag me into this? No, it's absolutely not. You're coming at it completely differently. I told you because I believe that you, and only you, can use what you have. You can use the science to cut through the bullshit to ensure that the real reason for those deaths gets out. That is made completely clear to the public. NASA's forced to admit it and has to reform. I wish. <laughs> Why can't people just say things the way they are? 
Because it's politics, it's dirty. But you can you can drive through that. You can what's the what's move your arm, please. Oh. What's going on? Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> not now, not not yet. Oh. <sighs> Just get a medic. You get a medic right now. Yes, sir. 